And you know, and there, and there are there are certain things too. Like you know, you look, you know, the combined net worth liquidity. I mean, if, if you have a long term, if you have a borrower who's on the property for a long time, you know, I mean, you know, there are some times where we can make some minor adjustments here or there. Um, but you know, this is just general general credit. You know, your collateral. Uh, these are just some of the basic things that you know, that we'll ask or we'll try and look for contiguous. You know, how many units per building? I know that that's kind of uh, you know, Fannie made a modification of their requirements recently regarding, you know, what 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 constitutes a scattered site and what doesn't. You know, tenant concentration. Um, you know, it's always good to know. Um, phased, fractured condo. You know, down units, corporate units. Um, also, always good to know if, if your property has any kind of affordability component. That's certainly going to affect your underwriting. Uh, it's going to affect your debt metrics. Um, you know, age restrictions, same way. Again, it all goes back to just know your deal. Real estate taxes. Now, we've, you know, the big thing here is like, you know, my guys will always confirm real estate taxes. I mean, it's, it's always a good thing to do because, you know, we've, you know, you look at municipalities in Texas. Texas may not be a disclosure state, but Texas is reassessing the hell out of everything right now. Um, you know, and, and a lot of times in acquisitions, you know, various states do have, you know, we'll, we'll reassess that acquisition. It, it's Maryland, Virginia, uh, Maryland, certain municipalities in Virginia, Florida, um, <coughs> California, for instance, with Prop 13. Um, and this is always good to know. I mean, it's it, nine times out of 10 now, your municipality is going to have this information.